from our dashboard, we're going to take a look at the media toolbar option. So when we click media, this is the media that you have uploaded or imported into WeVideo for use in any of your video edits. This media can be accessible through this tab here, or you have access to this media from within the actual video editing tool itself. We'll take a look at that later in the course. For the first part, what we'd like to do is we notice that we can add folders and we can organize our media files, whether they're images, whether they're pictures or audio files, into a folder itself. And to add a folder, what we were going to do, so we're going to first add a folder and click New Folder. And we can title it for the purposes of this online course, the Video Practice Course. You can go ahead and create a media folder. Now in this media folder, if I have images or audio files or videos that I know I'm going to use in my We Video Practice course video that you'll be creating for this course, uh, you can add them here. Equally, you can also add them while you're editing it. But first, we're going to go ahead and click Add Media. At this point, we have several options. We can drag and drop media or browse our hard drive on our computer. So these are uh, JPEGs that are installed on my computer hard drive. Um, we have uh, PDF files, we have other files here, uh, video files, or any audio files that you have that you want to include in your course. So we're going to go ahead and click Open. You'll see the progress bar on the bottom left. We can click here to view details if you want to for the progress monitor. And we can go ahead and also import using this option down here. So notice once we have a file in here, that initial piece goes away. So from now on, we're going to need to add down here, go to Import. We also have another option. We can import files from Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, or Flickr. If you have files in your Google Drive, we're going to first connect to our Google Drive. It's going to ask you to connect your account. Go ahead and connect your account through the on-screen prompts. And it's going to ask you to choose a file. Once you open up your Google Drive, go ahead and search for a file and go ahead and import a file. Once you do that, we'll get the notification that it's queued for processing. You have options here. You can cancel all if you decide you don't want to do this. And you can clear anything that gets completed afterwards. We don't need to leave this open and watch this. We can actually close this, and we can come back, and we can import another file if we like, either Google Drive or from your hard drive. We have a back button here. And now that we're in media, we do notice that we do see the import progress. This was from the video that, I that I'm uploading. I can click View Details and see the process here if I want to. Because WeVideo is an online editing tool, importing may take longer than normal. So just go ahead and track the progress and then plan accordingly. So now we're in our media. We have our WeVideo practice course media here. We have all the media in here that we're going to use. Again, if we're not quite sure what media we're going to use, we can always add that later during the video production process. Additionally, we have a couple different options we can choose from here to filter our media. Uh, we can search by key term, or we can filter by videos, images, and audio. We also can sort in these certain ways, name, date, created, size, and duration. Additionally, just like in Google Drive, we can change it from grid mode into list mode. So go ahead and change this to however you feel comfortable. We can see that our video that we're importing is almost done. Again, any media that you upload into here can be accessed from this media tab. Additionally, any media that you upload here can be accessed from within the video creation tool itself, which we'll see later.